fixed incomes. The forecast is likely to make you shiver, and that's not even the winter weather part. Home heating costs are shooting higher for yet another winter season. I don't see how people can afford to live right now. I really don't. That's Cheryl Mather, who lives in Sparta. She can relate to her neighbor in Union, Chantel Walters, who's raising two kids ages 5 to 16. And as colorfully autumn as mid-October is, the last couple of nights has her braced for the bills. I live in a bi-level, and which it, half the house is underground, which means it's freezing downstairs already. And... I, we're going to have to move everybody upstairs. At a time when refilling the tank means fewer available discretionary dollars, the rise in cost for basic warmth is for many a cold fist to the pocketbook. Duke Energy says the commodity cost of natural gas has more than doubled since early last year and that it does not control the cost financial markets do. At Emerson's Bakery, Vicki Elkin would like to see something sweeten the inflationary pressure right now. I mean, it's just a total mess for people that have to work, you know, and I'm on Social Security. It might seem inconsequential to some, but Nicely's appliance repair in Northern Kentucky emphasizes the importance of changing your furnace filters on a regular basis. You don't want one looking like this. And this came out of a furnace that resulted in a no heat call. Um, so the people had to go cold for a while. Duke Energy has a number of income-based assistance programs on both sides of the river that can help. Various civic-minded groups like the Council on Aging and Community Action Agency are also places to turn to for possible emergency funds. John London, WWT News.